And we're back with the Fox News alert, a live look at Capitol Hill, where the Senate could vote on impeachment as soon as today. Former President Trump's legal team rested their case yesterday after trolling Democrats with clips of repeated vows to, quote, fight. Democrats say the word fight needs to be put in context as Trump's team, his defense team, says the attack on the Capitol was pre-planned. A two-third vote is needed in the Senate to convict. That means 17 GOP votes are needed to convict President Trump. It appears only five or six GOP senators are willing to join the Democrats. Meanwhile, on to other Chamber of Commerce, Ch Chamber of Congress, where the House Republicans are banding together to push back on socialist values and the so-called squad. Members of what's been deemed the Freedom Force say that while they didn't seek the mantle, they're ready to take it up. Let's bring in Congressman Carlos Jimenez and Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis and Maria Elvira Salazar. Thank you all for being here with us. Uh, Congresswoman Maliotakis, let's start with you for one moment. Um, you guys didn't necessarily name yourself or decide, I guess, to, to brand yourselves as the Freedom Force, but here we are. That's who, it's who you are. So what does it mean? What distinguishes the Freedom Force from other Republicans in Congress, and what is the mission? Well, I think there are many that actually do share our mission, but the goal here is to fight back against those who are trying to fundamentally change our nation, those who want to destroy jobs and completely wipe out industries, those who are trying to change our history, trying to cancel our founding fathers, those who want to indoctrinate our children and strip our freedoms and liberties. I think what our message to the American people and to those who are attempting to do this is that this is a very slippery slope. It starts with this, the government gets more and more control, and eventually we are in a socialist society, and that is what our families have fled, and we know and want to share that with people, because I don't know that everyone sees what is happening right before our eyes. Little by little, our liberties are being taken away as government grows and grows, and these individuals must be stopped, and we're going to be out there with that message and pushing back as well on the House floor. Congressman Salazar, you know, I think 10 years ago, maybe even five years ago, certainly Democrats, maybe even some of those in the middle would have waved their hands at Republicans claiming threats of socialism. In other words, they would have said, oh, that's hyperbole. But, you know, this isn't just theoretical, as, as Congressman Malliotakis pointed out, for you and others. Your families have experienced socialism firsthand. You know how it comes, and you know its cost as well. And that is, that's exactly right. And what Nicole said is it's right on point. We have a point of reference. We know what the other side looks like. We know what democratic socialism is. Misery, oppression, and exile. And the problem is that they're putting socialism, and then on, on, on the front of it, they're putting a pretty word. Either it's democratic socialism or pragmatic socialism or, or pretty socialism. It doesn't matter. Socialism. Social, socialism is an economic model that has failed. Freedom, free market, liberty, democracy, that is what we need. The American exceptionality is what 300 years ago was created, and we need to continue with that American agenda. If we go to socialism, we go to something called the banana republic agenda. We cannot do that for the future of my children and your children. So that's why right. we're here, united, together. And we created the Freedom Force, and uh, I'm delighted to be part of it. Congressman Jimenez, let's talk about an agenda item then. What would you specifically point to as the battleground for these socialist ideas? What is the, what is the number one thing you're, you're concerned with that needs to be pushed back on? I believe the number one thing that I'm really concerned about is, uh, is the attack on our freedom of speech and the freedom of expression, and that somehow, if you have a disagreement, that you somehow need to be, you know, taken out. And, uh, and that's the first thing that goes in any socialist uh, uh, country. They, look, a lot of people say they're socialists, but in the, in the end, really, they're communists. And so what they want to do is they want to wipe out any dissent. So the first thing they do is they wipe out the abil your ability to for free speech. They wipe out, e eventually, they wipe out the uh, freedom of religion, and they wipe out freedom of the press, because and then all they want is their narrative to be, to be told to the people so that they can be indoctrinated. Look, I actually lived you know, under a, a communist regime for a couple of years when I was a youngster. I actually came here to, uh, to America when I was seven years old, you know, and I remember being indoctrinated. And so uh, I believe the first thing we have to do is fight back on this whole cancel culture, this, uh, this uh, you know, attack on our freedom of speech. I think that's incredibly, incredibly dangerous.
Yeah, exactly. is the equality is when they're saying that they want equality for everybody. It's equality of opportunity. It's not equality in the results. And the and and to continue what Carlos is saying is the big government. When you substitute the public sector for the private sector, then you're in the hands of this big monster called the bu the bureaucrats and bureaucracy, and then you lose your individual freedoms. Yeah, and that is not America. And that is exactly what AOC and her squad. Maybe they mean well, but they do not know what they're peddling. And that's what we're here to tell her. No, let's go to Havana for a couple of weeks or to Caracas for a couple of weeks, and you. You will see what democratic socialism is. Right. You know, as a news reporter for many years, I interviewed Hugo Chavez, and he told me point blank, we're going to do democratic socialism. He promised it. He said it. So they're not lying. They're telling us exactly what they want to implement in this country. And that's the important point. It's not just the ideas. It's not just the moment. It's the perspective the three of you have of having seen this play out in the real world and how it's playing out now in the United States of America. Thank you all, all three of you, so much for your time today.